Yo, yo, what's up? Oh my goodness. Guys, it is March. I have not kept up with these videos. Oh, well, I'm here now, so better late than never, eh? I am in London again. Uh, it is International Women's Day tomorrow, so I am here for a couple of events. I am staying at my mother's in North London as normal, and I'm just heading into Mayfair now. So I'm just running up to Finchley Central Station because I have an International Women's Day uh, breakfast, brunch, should we say, um, at a restaurant that I can't pronounce, but it's an Indian restaurant and it's got a Mexican star, so it should be very yummy. I've come in early. Uh, my main event is tomorrow. Uh, I am speaking at a very exciting venue, which is the Savoy Theatre. Um, and I'm doing a new talk of mine, which is called Inspire Inclusion. But I will talk more about that uh, tomorrow. So I thought I'd spam this video over a couple of days. It's worked out really well because on Sunday, I fly out to Italy on a ski trip with a bunch of entrepreneurs. Um, there'll be 50 of us. We went last year, uh, same time last year. It was the first one um, that Daniel Priestley ran, um, who is one of my mentors. I did a business accelerator with his company Dent in 2019. It was just, they're such a great bunch of guys, like all different businesses. So it's not like a bunch of fit pros or a bunch of coaches or, you know, a bunch of people in the property industry or finance. It's like a real mix, which I really, really love because it just keeps my mind open and just me thinking outside the box in terms of, of business and, and life in general, really. So I love hanging out with those guys. A few of the same lot coming this year, uh, but also a different uh, lot as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that. So it's worked out really well. I'm gonna fly out from London. My mom's gonna look after the dogs and I get to do my talks and things as well. And I've actually got another International Women's Day thing on the other end when I get back from skiing next week. Love it here. It is about 7 a.m. on a Friday morning. We are getting some fresh air into our lungs and stretching our legs. And my back is so much better. And you're not going to have a clue what I'm talking about. But what I failed to mention yesterday, because I really didn't think it was a big thing, but it turned out to be quite a big thing, is I've gone for a run in the morning. I went out for a 5k run. Came back with a 7k, I was feeling very proud of myself. But however, three minutes towards the end of that run, I just felt this shooting pain up my lower back. And I was like, oh crap. And so I was like, maybe I should stop running. But I figured I literally was gonna be home in three minutes and whatever it was, I could feel that the damage had been done. So I carried on. Anyway, I got in, seemed all right. A little bit sore, had my shower, off I went. Had a chat with you guys. Anyway, <laughs> part way through my breakfast, I went to get up from the table to go to the toilet. Oh my God, the pain trying to walk across the room. Never mind navigating the stairs down to the toilet. I literally was like clinging onto the handrail. Yeah, it was not good. It was not good. I essentially couldn't stand up straight. Um, I was in high heel boots as well. I couldn't even get those off when I got in. So uh, yeah, it was, it was not fun yesterday. I managed to get out on a couple of meetings. I had a, a walking meeting. Uh, um, I was all right once I was moving. The problem was like sitting down and getting up again. Um, so anyway, I managed to do that. I was supposed to train with a friend of mine and catch up with him um, later on in the afternoon, but I just moved that to coffee in the end. And again, just trying to get up from the, <laughs> the cafe chair was a freaking struggle. So I uh, was panicking at this point. Um, obviously I've got this big talk today um, and I'm supposed to be running a half marathon next Sunday, but this Sunday I'm supposed to be going skiing. So I was like, I really cannot afford an injury. Um, I'm pleased to say that thankfully after a hot bath and going to bed at half past seven, I've just yet yeah, managed to rest it and ease the pain a little bit. And I'm walking around now. Um, it was painful this morning. It was painful multiple times throughout the night when I got up, but moving around is good. It's easing. So I know we're gonna be fine today. So crisis averted. However, that's not actually the only crisis I've had since coming here. What I failed to mention yesterday, because I was in a bit of a rush and I was keeping it short and sweet, is that uh, <laughs> when I arrived here um, the night before last, 
I let the dogs out the car straight away and I grabbed my bag from the boot and as I was walking towards my mother's front door where I'm staying, this thought popped into my head of an item that I had definitely not packed. Have a guess what that item could have been. And if you're guessing a ski jacket, <laughs> no, although I very nearly did forget that. If you're guessing underwear, no. If you guessed my passport, then you would be correct. I was like, fuck. Literally, I was screaming out loud. Um, my mum was out and uh, the dog could hear me screaming. I was like, shit, what do I do? And like the first thought that entered my head was like, do I need to go skiing? I was like, yes, I need to go skiing. I was like, right, do I just, we're here now, dump the dogs in, just get straight back in the car. Two and a half hours there, grab the passport, two and a half hours back, I can be home by midnight. And then, I suddenly remember something <laughs> amazing. My client who lives in Bath is coming skiing with us. So I immediately reached out to him and I was like, oh, James, I've been like about done myself on the stupidity factor. Um, I have a massive, massive favor to ask. Could you go to my house and collect my passport and bring it? Which he, bless him, very kindly agreed to do. So, crisis averted. But I'm just a little bit worried because, you know, these things come in threes. So we have the passport one day. I had my back injury yesterday. So what is the third thing that could go wrong? I wonder. So that is that. So I'm just being mindful of my back. I was, because I'm running this half marathon next week, I did want to do another run today, but um, that's not going to happen. So I think I'll just have to run it next week and hope for the best, which will be fine. It's only a half marathon. It'll be good. So yeah, having a nice walk. I'm just going to go over to Gail's and get myself a coffee. I've got my um, little prompt cards with me just to refresh over. Um, so this is for my talk today at the Savoy Theatre. Which I'm very, very excited about. My sister messaged me yesterday. She's like, oh, you know, if you're in that much pain, like, you know, don't feel you have to do this talk. I was like, do you have any idea what this talk means? Like, this is just a highlight of my career. I said, they can wheel me on in a wheelchair or someone can literally prop me up and I will deliver my talk. Like, quitting is not an option. This is also me and I do not quit. Anyway, so I have devised this talk literally in the last week um, for International Women's Day. And inspire inclusion is the word or the phrase for this year's International Women's Day. It's a talk and not a workshop, but I have created a little workbook because I always like to give people workbooks. So I've got a QR code they can download, download that afterwards and hopefully do a bit of work on the weekend over it while it's still fresh in the mind. Always really important to get action in and not just sit there and get all fired up on a talk and then do absolute soddle about it. So that is why I created this workbook. Uh, but yeah, I will chat to you later about that. For now, oh gosh, it's so lovely out here. For now, I am going to enjoy my walk and go and get myself a coffee and uh, yeah, just refresh myself with my, my cards. Shines. It just puts me in such a better mood. I'm already in a good mood, but it just makes all the difference. Look at this glorious sunshine outside. It is uh, 20 past 11 and I am going to be hitting the road in about 10 minutes. My mum has given me a lift to the station. Um, I am dressed pretty much, ready to go, just packing up my bag. Um, just taking my laptop bag with me, with my laptop as a backup. I've sent the slides over ahead of time, so they've got those. Um, also, the pdf for the workbook but i've also printed out some copies i'm actually not going through this on the session it's more just a bonus that they can download on the front page i do talk about a lifestyle redesign process something i do with my clients so there's that for them to do i think one of the first um vlogs i did this year i had this exercise in strengths and weaknesses um and also the self-care menu and challenge menu it does feature a lot in my workshops so that will be beneficial energy management super super important um putting boundaries in place uh inspirers and motivators as i call them finding those people managing time 
around those people um, and also the opposite of those people, very, very important. And just some pe questions to um, consider at the end. So the topic is, um, or rather the phrase for International Women's Day is, <laughs> I've completely forgotten. Oh my God, inspire inclusion. Can you imagine? One thing I have to remember and I forget that today. So yeah, a couple of questions to consider was uh, how can you make others feel valued? How can you make others feel like they belong? And how can you empower others? And the key to those questions really, and maybe it's something you can ponder as well, is to have a think about what makes you feel valued, what makes you feel empowered, and what makes you feel like you belong. And generally, the stuff that makes you feel all of those things will make other people feel all of those things. And I think the more we can make others feel that way, um, the better place the world is, really. So, yeah, that's pretty much kind of some of the stuff that I'll be going into today and really the essence of the talk. Um, but very much as the work, a lot of the work that I do is centred on the individual uh, rather than kind of the team as a whole. It's more you know, take care of yourself first and then you're in a much better position to take care of other people. Um, so really inspiring everyone today to take better care of themselves, to inspire themselves first before they then go on to inspire other people. And also it's quite inspiring to watch other people looking after themselves. So that's another thing as well. Anyways, let's stop waffling and getting going and I will see you later. Oh, after today, actually, I've got quite a busy day. Um, I was meeting my dad for lunch at one of my favourite restaurants in London, which is Shiki's, Jay Shiki, which is very near uh, the Savoy, where I'll be. Um, and then I'm meeting some of the girls, uh, a couple of wedding planners, VC event curation, Tori and Caroline, who are super, super lovely ladies. They have organised uh, a little girlies drink session at the Langham Hotel. So they've um, got one of the rooms there. So that's from 5 till 8pm. So a lovely, lovely little day of work and pleasure and a bit of family time too. Um, so yeah, I will see you later. stage um, and they've set up a little like uh, step and repeat there it's got like a little lectern as well which would be good to put some things down on and, and talk from there so yeah I'm super excited I'm a little bit nervous uh, it turns out there'll be 70 people watching live and it's being live streamed out to everybody else um, so quite a few people and um, they've got 10 theatres in London alone um, they've got lots of other venues elsewhere and globally uh, so one in Europe. So yeah, a lot of people, a lot of eyeballs on me today. Um, pressure's on, but uh, I've got some extra time actually. So uh, they've given me till 2.30, uh, which means I actually can run through my workbook. Um, so I'm really glad I made it and I'm glad I printed it out. Um, so I can go through bits of that. Coming up to quarter to one, I'm on at one. Um, I'll see if I can nip around the front and just show you this setup. back is worse than yesterday. Um, yesterday was just a whirlwind. Um, so yeah, I did not have a chance to talk to you guys after um, the talk, but it went really well, I think. Audience participation, which is always good. A few questions at the end, which I rarely get actually, so that was nice. And yeah, just some really great feedback from uh, from them. Then I met my dad at Shiki's for lunch in Covent Garden, which is one of my favorite restaurants. Uh, so we had a nice lunch there um, and that was at 2.30 and then I had to be over at the Wigmore, um, which is part of the Langham Hotel, 4 or 5 p.m. to meet up with a load of wedding and event suppliers um, and friends of mine really. Uh, so yeah, it was really lovely to catch up with them. Uh, Tori and Caroline from VC events had organized it. This is a little thing for International Women's Day. So it was just the girlies, which was fab. Um, really nice to catch up with everybody and touch base. So yeah, that was yesterday. So it was pretty full on. And I think that's probably why I buggered my back because also I was drinking yesterday. So I probably numbed a bit of the pain and 
probably was in positions and doing things and walking around that I shouldn't have been doing. Um, that sounded wrong and weird, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Meaning I was probably like dashing around, yeah, just jolting my body. So I've been out in the heat now for an hour and um, walking does help ease, but I've just sat on a bench to have this coffee and getting up, it's so painful. Um, I haven't had a good night's sleep because when I turn in the night, it's really sore. Um, so I don't think that's helped either. Um, and I go skiing tomorrow. So at this rate, I definitely can't ski. Um, so I'm really hoping that over the next few days, it kind of eases off a little bit and we should be all right for skiing on Monday. Um, but look, there's lots going on. There's content sessions, lots of just business chats and networking and stuff to do with the gang and just catch up. So plenty of food and drink and all of that. So if I don't ski, it's not the end of the world. Yes, it's highly annoying, but it's one of those things, you know, and everything happens for a reason. So anyway, um, I am behind with these little vlogs, so I will do one. So I'm navigating a lot of mud right now. I will do one while I'm skiing uh, because I think it will be lovely and picturesque. Um, so I can show you what Savinia looks like and hopefully there'll be some footage of me on the slopes. But I'm going to leave this episode here for now. Ooh, getting through this bush. But thank you for tuning in and please do subscribe so you know when the next one goes live. And I will see you in the next one. All right, guys. Ciao for now.